today I'm going to show you how to light charcoal if you don't have chimney or some kind of fire starter or this garbage. I do not like lighter fluid and I've never used it before on my Weber kettle. That stuff is the devil, 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 devil. Charcoal though, if you're in a pinch, this will help you out. I did a video recently. It was, uh, do you like, who likes the tailgate, I believe is what it was called. And this second way I'm gonna show you how to light charcoal saved my butt. Yeah, it stunk. If you got neighbors that you don't like, this would be perfect for them. It stunk, but I'll tell you what, it worked. All right, let's start on our charcoal. Doing it this way makes me feel like a modern day MacGyver. So I'm just gonna take a paper towel and take out three, I don't know, pieces of paper, I guess. Kinda just bunch it up a little bit. I'm gonna kind of make a, a ring out of it. There we go, that is perfect. We're gonna take this, it's about three quarters of a shot glass of just used oil, pour it on there, put one or two of these little charcoals down on the grill and light it, let's do it. We start by just, remember our piece of paper here we had just a moment ago? Very similar to that. I'm gonna take some of this oil. I'm not gonna use all of it because I really don't need all of it. Like a little piece of charcoal down like that. Light it. Now that oil in there is gonna slow down the burn of the paper towel, but it's also gonna create enough heat. It's gonna start turning that piece of charcoal into white. You'll see it here on the edges. We're into this about five minutes. And I just want to kind of take a look at things. Yeah, it's starting to smoke on its own, which is great. That's exactly what we want. Let's just let it continue to burn away. Another five minutes is down. I want to show you something. I don't know if you can see that, but right there, see that edge right there where it's white? That's starting to turn there. That's exactly what we're looking for. Let's give it another five minutes and then I think we're ready for part two. Our five minutes is up. Look how toasty that is on top, all white and stuff. I like it. Gonna take a couple of these. Other charcoals. By the way, I'm just using uh, Kings for charcoal, to be honest with you. Nothing spectacular. We're just gonna do that. Build it up like that. Now the key to this is also oxygen management. So I'm gonna put the lid over it. Leave this open at full bore and just kind of let it start doing its thing. We'll see you when it's ready. Well, it's been about 30 minutes. Let's check on these. Yeah, I, there's quite a lot of heat coming off. Let's take a look at right there with the white is what we want. And, and if you notice along the ridges of the charcoal, they're white as well. That means it's really starting to heat up. We could pile more charcoal on and then we could have our barbecue. So there you go. That's how you light charcoal without charcoal lighter. I'm not a fan of lighter fluid. I think it leaves a nasty taste on whatever you're cooking. If you like lighter fluid, that's fine. No biggie to me, but that's how you do it. I'm so now I'm gonna show you the way that saved my tail recently at a barbecue. I have my Weber kettle with me, just like we saw just a moment ago, but I had forgot my chimney and my fire starter. I use a little tumbleweeds. I totally forgot them, but I happen to have Doritos. Well, let me tell you, these things work, but man, they stink for a few minutes. If you don't like your neighbors, that's perfect. I actually like my neighbors, so I kind of feel sorry for them. But I'm gonna show you how to use Doritos. Any kind of potato chip or Doritos, any kind of, oh, nacho chips, Cheetos, Fritos. Fritos stink really bad. Work great for this. All right. Let me show you. We start with just some regular old charcoal. Get a nice base going there. All right, now the fun part. Let's take some Doritos.
What I'm looking for this is I want the big Doritos. The little ones are just gonna fall through the cracks. Not gonna help me out too much. Now I'm gonna just carefully place charcoal over the top. Excellent. I can already start smelling the Doritos. It does have kind of a funky smell to it, but it does go away. Oh, good Lord, you can really start to smell it now. Whew. God. Oh my goodness. Now I'm standing looking through the camera right now at this, and you can see all the smoke coming off, obviously. Good Lord, does it stink. But it won't last very long. As soon as that charcoal gets hot enough, and most of our fuel has burned away, that smell is gonna go away. And you don't get this smell either on your food. There you go, we're gonna to continue to watch this. We're into this about five minutes. For me last time, it took about 30 minutes. So the timer is on. See in a few. It's been about 25 minutes, so let's take the top off. Yes, I did put the top on. <coughs> I wanted to kind of regulate the airflow a little bit more, but if you look at that, that's amazing. Oh God, that's hot too. As you can see, we definitely have some action going on in there. That's what saved my tail at a tailgate. So there you go. I could start cooking on this with no problem whatsoever. All right, so there you have it. Two different ways of lighting charcoal if you're in a pinch. I'm thinking number one is the easiest way to go, but that's just me. All right, thanks everybody for watching the Dude's Kitchen and Grill. Remember the dude abides this time with having some fun with some charcoal. And we will see you on the next video. Peace.